Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Stock Market Crash Channel. There are now massive layoffs everywhere, and JP Morgan has laid off hundreds in its mortgage business. This is the New York Post. JP Morgan reportedly laying off hundreds in mortgage business. JP Morgan is laying off hundreds of employees in its home lending business and reassigning hundreds more this week. Bloomberg News reported Wednesday. Okay, so more than 1,000 employees will be affected. The report said that about half of them will be, will be moved to different divisions within the bank, but hundreds will, um, will be laid off. You have not only that, just type in layoffs US on Google. Tech firm, lays off, te tech firm layoffs surge in June, increasing recession worries in U.S. Newsweek, massive layoffs hit one of top U.S. aluminum plants halting operations. Another Newsweek article, layoffs at 95 tech companies in June, quick and potential recession slides. So 95 tech companies are laying off people. And here, once the nation's fastest growing sector, the number of technology companies laying off employees has increased every month since January, reaching 95 in June, affecting more than 48,000 people. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. Ladies and gentlemen, go to H.A. Goodman right now. I'm doing a segment. I will have a segment up in about 10, 15, 20 minutes on Liz Cheney begging Democrats in Wyoming to vote for her. Surprise, surprise. Very interesting. This is a New York, that's a New York Times article. And the layoffs aren't, aren't limited to the tech sector. Zumper, the largest privately owned rental platform in North America, announced that it would lay off 15% of its workforce last Thursday. Two weeks earlier, the leading electro, uh, electric vehicle maker Tesla announced it would lay off 10% of its salary workforce. We are going to see layoffs, ladies and gentlemen. What happened was the following. In the beginning of 2020, we had... Um, a good economy, great economy, record lows in unemployment. We didn't have inflation. We didn't have energy problems. We didn't have uh, gas prices approaching $6. We didn't have a shortage of diesel fuel and food shortages and supply chain breakdowns. And we didn't have any of that stuff. Then the apoplectic maniacs who wanted to address a serious issue said we have to tank the United States economy. Now, we are going into a recession. We are in a recession. The UK is in a recession, going into a recession. Australia, Canada, all of these countries that tanked their economies are now experiencing 40-year highs in inflation and either flirting or they've already entered into a recession. This was the work of people who deliberately uh, tanked and ended economic activity, shut down businesses and restaurants and commerce. And that led to commodity prices like fossil fuels, oil, energy um, going through the roof. Then so you ask yourself, well, what happened? How did that? What, what happened? What happened from uh, from 2000 to today? Well, we shut down. Uh, we shut down business. Then there were massive layoffs. Then people lost their jobs. There was 22 million people unemployed. Then $10 trillion was pumped into the economy through fiscal and monetary stimulus. And then you had a situation where uh, Joe Biden goes, comes into office, says he wants to do away with fossil fuels. He wants to go after the oil and gas industry. And uh, renewables will be you know, the key to the future of our economy. And then what happens? Oil and gas become geopolitical tools. Surprise, surprise. Wow, that's bizarre. They were always top geopolitical issues. Democrats miscalculated as always. And now we have record highs in oil and gas prices. They're only, it's only going to get worse no matter what he does uh, because he has been sued. He's being sued. His administration is being sued by oil and gas associations, 14 states, because their policies have negatively impacted or have increased the price of oil and gas. And we have... All of these problems now that we just didn't have. So we had a great economy in, two, in, two, in 2020, beginning of January, February, and then from February to April, 22 million people unemployed, then $10 trillion in the economy, then 2021, best stock market ever. Then I predicted in, in, October, in September of 2021, I said, we're going to have a stock market crash. And we did. 
Uh, we are. We're seeing that right now. It's going to get un it's going to get much worse, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. And we're seeing the layoffs. It's going to get much, much worse. And now we're back to square one all over again. Uh, it's only a matter of time before Democrats say more stimulus because their policies caused these layoffs two years ago and recently. It's it's unbelievable. Everything they touch turns to the turns to the uh, fertilizer that's now three to four hundred percent more expensive. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Go to the go to H A Goodman right now and go to the Bitcoin crash to ten thousand or lower channel. I'll have a segment out later tonight on there. Thank you so very.